ISSC 422 Information Security with AMU. Uh, I'm Professor Labarge and we're going to be covering lab number one, performing reconnaissance and probing using common tools. This lab was broken up into a few pieces uh, just to uh, cut down on size. What I need uh, everybody to do right now is go ahead and click on Open VAS. And we're going to let this just run. Just let it run for uh, and minimize it. It can take up to five minutes to start. All right. Uh, so to, to start off the lab, we're going to click on Wireshark. Wireshark is a protocol analyzer, often referred to as a packet sniffer. It's used to capture IP traffic from any... Uh, network interface. And, and, and here's the bottom line. This captures all the raw information, everything that traverses the network, um, chats, websites, um, files being downloaded, everything gets captured. And this is a very powerful tool as a network and security professional. And our adversaries also use the same tool um, to, to drill down into uh, what's going on on the network. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the interface uh, list card and we're going to click on student. And we're going to start capturing all traffic that's uh, going on uh, this network. Uh, for, for the purpose of this uh, piece of the lab, what we're going to do is uh, open up ping. So uh, go down to the start menu, click run, and we're going to type in command to bring up uh, the command prompt. Um, in, in command prompt, we're going to use ping. For those that uh, aren't familiar with the command prompt, as a security professional, as a network uh, professional, Start getting familiar with uh, the command line tools. Uh, the command line is a very power, powerful uh, interface. Uh, those that grew up in the MS-DOS days and, and use uh, Linux uh, are pretty comfortable with command line. Everybody else is kind of uh, back to the GUI interface, the graphical user interface of, uh, you know, I want to double click on something. Start uh, familiarizing yourself with different uh, tools uh, that can be used. In this case, we're going to use ping. Ping is just going to allow us to uh, reach out, touch touch a uh, a host on the network, and see if it's actually active. So in this case, we're going to uh, we're going to ping uh, 172.30.0.10. Before we hit enter, you should look at your uh, Wireshark window, and you don't see anything. And a real network uh, that you have a lot of things going on, you'll be seeing all sorts of stuff uh, coming up on there. Once you hit enter, it should capture the uh, ping request, which it just did. So you can see over here, you got ICMP, letting you know that it's a ICMP protocol, i.e. ping. You got the source, the destination, the type of protocol, and we can drill down into this um, really, really in depth. Uh, Wireshark is a very uh, powerful tool. And again, uh, this isn't the purpose of the lab. This is just to show you and familiarize yourself with some of the tools. Um, in this case, Wireshark is capturing all the network traffic, um, i.e. the ping request. Um, if we were to go open up Internet Explorer um, and, and type in something, that would also get captured. Everything that traverses the network is going to get captured. Uh, so go ahead and take a screenshot and go ahead and exit out. We're going to stop and quit without saving, and we're just going to exit out of here too. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, Net Witness. Net Witness is very similar to Wireshark, except Wireshark really does a deep dive where Net Witness gives a high-level overview. Um, but what it's doing is it's analyzing the packet capture. In this case, there's already packet capture that was already uh, obtained. You could obtain packet capture using Wireshark um, and just, we could have saved that uh, packet capture that it just took of the ping request. We could have saved that and we could drop it in to NetWitness Investigator. In this case, we've already have a collection of PCAP, which we're just going to click on. Uh, the purpose of, of, of showing you NetWitness is that NetWitness is going to, again, drill down into things, um, but more at a higher level overview. It kind of parses stuff out for you. For instance, you got the alerts, different types of uh, protocols it's seen. Three uh, HTTPs, some DNSs, some peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, so you get the point. Um, you got some email. Uh, you got your sources, your destinations. It's giving you all the information that it's seeing, and then it allows you to click and drill down. In this case, we want to focus in on the alerts. Uh, you got some vulnerabilities. You got some clear text passwords. 
and you got some uh, IRC file transfers. So for the purpose, we're just, I'm just gonna show you how this works. You could click on this and it's gonna drill down onto the, the uh, actual uh, packet that had this uh, clear text password. And you could see that it was associated with POP3. So you got email, the source, the destination, who it was sent to, sent from. Um, you got the email it was associated with. And there were some attachments. You got credit card file. You got some credit cards uh, .txt. That might be interested, interesting as an investigator. I don't know what moon.jpg is, but it may contain some uh, stenography, some, some hidden files. So it'd be interesting uh, to dive deep into that. Um, so for the purposes of uh, net witness, it just allows you to drill down into things uh, as far as the PCAPs associated. So go ahead and take your screenshot and you can get out of there. Um, so this is going to be part one of this lab of talking about the PCAP, uh, specifically the Wireshark and the uh, NetWitness uh, invest uh, investigator.